Hello and welcome to a brief overview of Scratch. So if you've never used Scratch before, it is a um, website where you can use coding blocks to create animations and games and little interactive projects. So I wanna show you how Scratch looks when you first create an account, you first log in. So you go into Scratch, you hit create, and you're given this blank slate. Well, here's how it works. This section here is your preview area, and this is the Scratch Cat. It's kind of the logo for Scratch, what they're known for. Now the Scratch Cat you see is also down here in this section called Sprites Area. The Sprites Area in a sprite is actually just a, a character or an element in your animation, and each sprite can have their own set of commands or scripts um, for their animation. Now to the left of the sprites is the stage or the backdrops. So when you click on the backdrops, you see that the screen changes a little bit. So backdrops, you see scripts, that would be all your commands for the backdrop. The backdrops tab is the backdrops themselves. Right now it's just blank white. And then you can also add sounds to your backdrop. So I'm gonna go into the backdrop section and you can see that you can choose a backdrop from their library. You can paint or draw a new backdrop. You can upload your own backdrop or you can take a picture. So I'm just gonna go into their library and I'm gonna arbitrarily choose a backdrop. So see how that changes. Now I'm gonna go to my Scratch Cat, Sprite 1, and you see he has different tabs too. There's the scripts, which is where you have all the commands for your Scratch Cat. The costumes, which is where you can change how your Scratch Cat looks. You'll notice he has two different motions, so you can actually kind of uh, flip book him or stop motion him, make him look like he's walking. And then of course, sounds. <coughs> Scratch Cat can meow like a cat. So. All right, let's talk about how to make him do stuff. So over here in this big giant area, this is our scripts area. So what you wanna do is first of all, have some sort of event, something that's going to trigger um, any of the actions. A lot of times when flag is clicked is what's kind of used because the flag is like your play button, but you can use other things too. You can have uh, different keys on your keyboard trigger things. You can have when your sprite is clicked, you can have when the backdrop switches. So all sorts of things you can have trigger different actions and, and um, animations. So we're gonna start really basic. When the flag is clicked, we're gonna go to motion. We're gonna have Scratch Cat move 10 steps. Click the flag. Ah, he moves forward 10 steps each time. Beautiful. Now I want him to move back. There's no like back to the beginning button here. What I can do though, is I can change the number of steps to be negative 10. And now when I hit the arrow, Scratch Cat moves backwards. I can also position my Scratch Cat using X and Y coordinates. So if I say when flag is clicked, go to X zero, Y zero, my Scratch Cat goes directly to the center of the page because think about X and Y coordinates when you're graphing in math class, zero, zero is where the two lines intersect and it's right in the middle. So there's lots of different things you can do here. You can change um, the degrees that he's turned in. You can point him in different directions. It's really fun to just like explore the blocks and see what they can do. There's ones about how your cat looks, the sounds that he makes, the events, the controls, like making him um, wait in between things. There are some more advanced uh, blocks as well, like sensing and operators, and you can create your own variables, like uh, making games and keeping scores. But um, let's just do one very simple animation with, with uh, Scratch Cat, and we want him to move back and forth. So I'm gonna do when flag is clicked, move 10 steps, and then I want him to move negative 10 steps because I want him to move back and forth. And I can tell it um, forever. I want him to loop. I'm gonna click that flag. Uh-oh, nothing's happening. Here's why. Because if you have your cat move forward 10 steps and backwards 10 steps at the same time, they cancel each other out. So hit my stop sign button there to stop my program from running. Um, I'm gonna use these wait buttons. I'm gonna put wait half a second, 0.5. Wait another half a second, 0.5. Now I'm gonna play. And now you see my scratch cat moves back and forth. I wanna make him look like he's actually running. I'm gonna look at these different costumes here and I'm gonna use my looks to say next costume, next costume.
And there he is, dancing around. So that's just a super, super, super basic um, introduction to Scratch, where everything is, where you can find stuff. But there's certainly way, way more that you can do. Um, just wanted to get you acquainted with the work area and um, how that works.